Hey guys, it's me, Minecraft World. Um, so today, I have a really interesting, well, not exactly interesting, but today I have a fun idea that I wanted to do, and one that I did a while ago on Reddit, where um, I created a fan-made death battle season, but... I wanted, but it was, uh, Lego themed, which I wanted to do that. Plus, the video part, I wanted to do since Nemesis Bloodreich was doing, uh, the various Marvel DC, Marvel non-DC, DC non-Marvel non seasons and all that stuff. And since Lego is something that I love very much, I wanted to give it a shot. Um... So, yeah, I I personally wanted to give this an idea, this idea a shot where um, I create a 16 episode season for Lego in general. I chose Lego because I wanted to do because Lego is extremely diverse and it has a lot of various characters and versus ability. Granted, not all, granted, yeah, it's, oh, it's good. Um, so basically for this, I have one Marvel vs. DC matchup, two of my Dream Season matchups, which are the finale, the premiere and finale, respectively, as well as a few other Dream Season matchups that I put in here that I quite like. So, yeah, I have one Marvel vs. DC matchup, and two Kaiju battles in here, one of which being the premiere, so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited for this. This was one that I did a while ago, though I had to sw swap out a few of the matchups for a different one, and move some of these around because they didn't really feel in place at the time. So, yeah, um... Yeah, let's get to it. Episode 1. Kyogre vs. Wojira. My most wanted death battle matchup for several reasons. I made an entire Team C's video about this matchup because... And mostly because I wanted to get it off my chest and all that. But I chose it as the premiere because, well, it's my most wanted. And I really enjoy it. Plus, Ninjago was Lego for obvious reasons. Now, I know Kyogre vs. Chaos exists, and I do like that. I like Kyogre vs. Chaos. Not as much as this one, because while Wojira is, while Kyogre and Wojira are personally very connected to me, I know next to nothing about Chaos. Though I'd rather Chaos fight Zygarde, from, also from Pokemon. But yeah, but Kyogre vs. Wojira, honestly, really good. If you need, if you need to know why is my most wanted, uh, the card is on screen, possibly right now. Maybe it already passed. I'm not sure. But if you want to know why it's my most wanted, yeah, I have an entire playlist of it. Of course, it's my most wanted. So, yeah. That's our premiere. Episode 2. Clay vs. Laval. Nexonites vs. The Legends of Chima. For episode 2, I wanted to continue this season in a very, like, in a very typical manner. Setting up this, setting up the rest of the season, like what most episode 2s do. This one was suggested on Reddit for the season when I asked to do this for the first time, and I I actually quite liked it enough to put it in there. It's thematic, it works, I feel like animation potential works. Um, yeah. By the way, pre as previously stated, Kyogre, Kyogre loses to Wajira, so... And Laval, I might actually say wins against Clay, but I'm not exactly sure. Haven't seen Next of Nights or Chima in ages, though they're, though, okay, Nexonites is good, but Chima is... Chima's story is weird. 
But overall, yeah, not a bad matchup. Not a bad matchup. I personally think this would work as an episode two for the season. So, sure, why not? Episode three. Lego Killer Croc versus the Lego Hulk. Lego DC Comics versus Lego Marvel Super Heroes. This is the Marvel vs. DC matchup I told you about earlier, and it's fine. While, Le while regular Hulk and Killer Croc don't work for one another, they shouldn't be pitted against each other. Killer Croc is best fighting uh, either Leatherhead or Man Bat. Not Man Bat, or Lizard. And Hulk should fight either Godzilla or someone else. I'm not sure. Or not return at all. <laughs> He got his butt kicked in by Broly. Um, but, yeah, this would be fine. This is fine. I think it works. I think it works pretty well. Could be interesting. Yeah, could be interesting. I like it. Episode 4. Elsa vs. Zane. Frozen vs. Ninjago. This is one that made it to my dream season, as it was one of the first um, death battle matchups in general that I actually came up with. And while it's not best for both, I'd rather I prefer Elsa versus uh, Jack Frost and Zane versus Penny from Ruby, despite knowing next to nothing about Ruby. Um, but I like that one. But this one's also pretty cool. It's a similar situation to Mei vs. Ghidorah, where connections are very loose and surface level, and maybe even a bit stretchy, but it's still pretty cool when it comes to animation potential, no pun intended. But, yeah, honestly, not bad, not bad. I quite like it. I quite like it, and I really think, I really think it could work, just not my preferred for both. Like I said, I prefer Elsa vs. Frost and Elsa vs. Jack Frost and Zane vs. Penny. But this one I had to put here because this one I wanted to put here because it was the one that I it was one that I came up with when I was starting out with Death Battle. I first thought it was best for both. I first thought it was best for both. Then I thought it was an absolutely terrible matchup, and now now I've actually started to. No pun intended. Warm up to it. Oh god, what is it? Oh, come on. I swear to god, I'm not coming up with these temperature puns on the fly. They're just coming out of my mouth, okay? <laughs> Episode 5. Emmett versus Guy. The Lego Movies versus Free Guy. Of course, being a Lego season, you might as well do a Lego movie matchup. Like, a matchup for one of the LEGO movies. I have two LEGO movie matchups here. Technically three, but no. But personally, I think this one's pretty good. Emmett does have several other decent opponents. Lloyd, Gene from the Emoji movie, which sucks. Um, there's, there's uh, who else? Poe? MK? From Monkey Kid. Honestly, that, yeah, but this is my preferred for Emmett. Free Guy was awesome, made ninth place on my top 10 of 2021. And the Lego movie is a movie that I have a massive soft spot for. All four of them, I have a massive soft spot for. The first one, especially, though. But, yeah, this is a good matchup. Emmett wins. Also, for Croc vs. Hulk, Hulk probably wins, and Zane definitely wins against Elsa. So, yeah. But honestly, not bad. Not bad. I like this. I like this a lot. Episode 6. Joker vs. Jestro. DC vs. Nexo Knights. This is not best for both. I'm gonna I'm gonna state that right off the bat. This isn't best for both. I'd rather Joker fight the Green Goblin. But this is interesting. Clowny antagonists. Yeah, I like it. I personally like it. It's like I said, not best for both, but 
it works. It, it works very well. I personally think you could do some stuff with it, and Joker wins, which is cool, which is really cool. Yeah, Joker definitely wins. By the way, I have a massive fondness for DC now because I actually, I just got back from the Batman movie and I freaking loved it. Oh my god, it was awesome. <sighs> yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> Episode 7, Jay vs. Mikey, Ninjago vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is a composite Mikey to be specific, so yeah, every version of the character combined. Though, I'd imagine they'd mostly stick with 2012 Mikey, because that's probably the most like Jay, which is understandable. Which is understandable. That's my favorite. That's my favorite version of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But honestly, Jay vs. Mikey, these two characters are basically the exact same characters. And that is hardly, hardly a bad thing. Jay is my second favorite ninja behind Zane, and Mikey is my favorite Ninja Turtle overall. He's just so fun. So this matchup could be really interesting, plus Jay wins, which makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Yeah, though Mikey actually does have electric powers as of TMNT 2012 and Rise. And Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is... Uh, yeah, that one's good. It's, it's, got, it's by the same guys who did Monkey Kid, so... Yeah. Loved it. I love I love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles so much. I, w I want them to come back, and this is my ideal returner for them. For that show, for that series, whatever it is. That's my ideal returner for, for that series. Episode 8. We're on the mid-season finale. Goku vs. Sun Wukong, Dragon Ball vs. Monkey Kid slash Journey to the West. I mean, we've gotten eight episodes and we still haven't gotten a Monkey Kid matchup yet? Well, I guess might as well go out with one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is kind of a no-brainer, but as explained in my Monkey Kid All Opponents episode, follow the follow-up, I'm... I'm waiting till Monkey Kid Season 3 gets the English dub to start working on the follow-up. Because the new characters, I mean, I already have one for, like, shang -e, so. And Neza is being a difficult jackass to find opponents for. So, I'm waiting for the Monkey Kid Season 3 dub to come out. But honestly, this matchup, this matchup's worth it. it you can find the connection to my uh, Monkey Kid All Opponents, which works. Also, Sun Wukong totally wins, which... Yes, yeah, suck it. Suck it, Goku. That makes it sound like I hate him. I actually don't hate him, but I prefer Sun Wukong. This is using Journey to the West, by the way, so... Yeah, Sun Wukong definitely wins this. And... Well, I like Goku, i rather Sun Wukong win this. Episode 9. Well, we're on the mid-season premiere, and to bring back everyone... Clutch Powers vs. Chase McCain. The Adventures of Clutch Powers vs. Lego City Undercover. This is a Giga Chadley level matchup, and I and I love it. I love it so, so much. This is basically kind of like a funnier version of like uh, Bond vs. Jo Indiana Jones or Ronan vs. Han Solo. So, yeah. I honestly think it it's fantastic. Plus, these two characters are lesser known compared to that. Clutch Powers is more known due to his frustrating and controversial appearance in Ninjago. I personally disliked how he was portrayed because I'm a huge fan of the original film. Granted, he's funny. But whatever. Um, and... Great. Speaking of Ninjago, I'd actually imagine Death Battle would use Ninjago feats and scaling for this matchup. But 
if they, but even if they didn't, Clutch Powers totally wins this, which is based, absolute based. Don't get me wrong, Chase McCain's also cool. I've only played like a third of this of City Undercover, but I like, but from what I have played, I really liked it. I enjoyed City Undercover. I know the full story, and I know enough about the characters. And I know Clutch Powers much more because I've watched his movie multiple times over, and uh, and I'm a huge Ninjago fan. Like Ninjago is my favorite uh, series of all time. But yeah, I know Clutch Powers more. Chase McCain totally wins. Chase McCain totally do dies. Like just gone. <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> it's fine because these two are Giga Chads to the best degree. And I want it. I want this so bad. Not in my dream season, but it's cool. It's really cool. Episode 10 Preston Storm versus Optimus Prime. Hero Factory versus Transformers. Specifically, the aligned Transformers continuity. So. The continuity that includes Transformers Prime, which is, funnily enough, the version that I'm actually second most familiar with behind the movies, the Michael Bay films. That's the one that I'm second most familiar with, and that was the first Transformers TV show that I watched, and I really like it, so that, that adds an interesting connection to this matchup. Also, Hero Factory is basic, is stupid underrated, like just so underrated, and I don't know why. It's awesome. I think it's just because people think that it, people think that it like ripped off Bionicle. Those two are completely different series, my friend. If anything ripped off Bionicle, it was Ninjago. I'm gonna regret saying that, but yes. Honest, and honestly, I actually don't know who would win this. Probably gonna stick it to Prime. Probably gonna stick to Prime because Storm is cool. Storm is cool, but like Prime, I know better than him. I haven't seen much of Hero Factory in several years, actually. But Prime probably wins this. He's bigger. I'd, I'd actually imagine they're similar in weapons, so... Yeah, um, yeah, prime for the win, but overall, not bad, not bad, I like this. Episode 11, here's the second kaiju matchup, the Grundle versus the Vastatosaurus Rex, Ninjago versus King Kong. Originally I put the Indominus for the Grundle, but I didn't really like that, I'd rather the Indominus fight the Sharktopus. You are gonna slaughter me, okay? That that matchup is great. I, I actually like it. Um, but Vistatosaurus Rex is also pretty cool. I could have done Gorosaurus, but no. No. Granted, that's also a good alt for the, Vistat for the Vistatosaurus. Um, and I could have also done the, uh, the Spinosaurus from Jurassic World... From Jurassic Park 3. Or the T-Rex, like Rexy from Jurassic Park. But, eh, Rexy should fight Speckles, and I really don't know who the Spinosaurus should fight. <laughs> but yeah, this is interesting. For as much as I like the Grundle, I might I might give this to the Vistatosaurus Rex, because Kong scaling, and also the fact that it's bigger. Like, it's bigger than Kong. So, yeah, probably going to give this to the Vistatosaurus, though that's not a bad thing at all, I actually, the, the King Kong 2005 movie is absolutely amazing, I personally really like it, and I think, and Ninjago was my favorite TV show of all time, as I stated, so, and I unironically like Child's Play, as that was one of the first episodes I actually watched. So, the Grundle has a soft spot in my heart. But yeah, this is cool. And yes, I would qualify this as a kaiju matchup. So, yeah. Jurassic Park matchups, I'd count as kaiju matchups. Because kaiju equals strange beast, and dinosaurs 
Dinosaurs would be considered strange, especially young children. I mean, I know they were strange to me as a young ch as a young child, and some are still bizarre to this day. So, yeah, and take into account that the Stratosaurus Rex and Grundle are different from average dinosaurs. So, yeah. But yeah, personally, I like this. The Stratosaurus for the win. Episode 12. For the Halloween special, I had multiple options. Originally, on the original list, it was, um, it was Brain from Hero Factory versus Krang. Specifically, the 2012 Krang from TMNT. But... I didn't like it as much, so I moved it ahead, and then I was, and then I didn't like it at all. So I decided to try to look for other Hero Factory matchups, and Preston Storm versus Optimus Prime got suggested to me. Um, so yeah, and then I thought of these two. I thought of these two: Surf Vanguard versus the Night King, Legends of Chima versus Game of Thrones. I mean, this is kind. This is pretty fitting for a Halloween special. Ice zombie kings who have a massive army and go relatively unnoticed in a controversial series. Didn't expect to go through connections with that one, but still. But I was also debating whether or not to pick um, to pick the ice dragons king, the ice dragon from Game of Thrones versus Boreal from Ninjago season eleven part two. Um, but I ultimately decided this because I felt like the zombie, I, the ice zombie aesthetic works too, whereas Boreal is more of like an elemental dragon, though it does look zombified in some way, shape, and or form. But overall, yeah, both of those work, but I ultimately chose Sir Fangar vs. the Night King because I actually quite like it a bit more, and I feel like it's more befitting of the Halloween aesthetic that Death Battle would go with. I mean, zombies. <laughs> if that's not Halloween-y, I don't know what is. Episode 13, Macaque versus Rex Danger Vest. Well, huh. aren't you a familiar face, huh? I, yeah, Macaque versus Rex, this is... This is my second favorite Monkey Kid matchup behind Acronix and Crux vs. Sien and Jin, and it's insanely, insanely close. Insanely close. I personally really like, um, I personally really like, uh, the, this very much. The dynamic's really cool, um, Maquette wins, which is based, though I really like Rex. So, yeah. Yeah, this works. This works a lot. I think it could, I think it could be interesting. <sighs> Six more to go. Three more to go. Episode 14. Lloyd Garmadon vs. Takanuva. Ninjago vs. Bionicle. Well... I mean, this is straight given. I would have all. While I prefer Lloyd versus Ang from Avatar, this is also pretty cool. Um, I mean, you could do a lot of stuff with this, and I believe Lloyd wins, which is awesome. Don't get me wrong, Bionicle is awesome as well. It's my brother's favorite uh, Lego theme and overall series. And I don't blame him. The original Bionicle is great, but while but I vastly prefer Ninjago. Um, yeah, you could do a lot with this. I think not completely, but I mean, I I don't know Takanuva that much because I haven't seen much of that Bionicle, much of the original Bionicle. Whereas Lloyd, I know a lot about. So that's why I'm thinking he wins, but I'm not exactly sure if he loses. I actually think he, common consensus, I think he I think he does win, so that's cool. Yeah. 
This is an interesting introductory for Ninjago, if this happens. So, yeah, I like it. I like it very much. Episode 15, Chaos vs. Lord Vortech, Skylanders vs. Lego Dimensions. Okay, yeah, this is also good. This is season finale worthy, but it, it's a different matchup than I have for the season finale. You could probably have figured out which one it is, or maybe you haven't, but overall, yeah. With, but this is honestly really cool. Skylanders on Death Battle would be worth it, and Lord Vortex is pretty cool. I have LEGO Dimensions, I have played LEGO Dimensions, and I love it. I love it very much. Oh man, I do wish it did continue a bit longer or something like that, but overall, not bad. I like, I like LEGO Dimensions a lot, and while I haven't played too much of Skylanders, I know the overall... Uh, mechanics and premise and I personally think it could work I personally really quite like it yeah also I don't know chaos that much so I'm probably gonna pit him I'm probably gonna make Vortec win if anyone has any debunks for that in the comments let me know because I'm genuinely curious And we are on to the season finale. This season finale is another matchup that I thoroughly enjoy. One that made it to my dream season just recently. As I recently added four more episodes, making my dream season 20 episodes. So, yeah. This is one that I personally am really, really joyous to do. To have here. The Overlord versus the Lady Bone Demon. This is another one that I discussed in my Monkey Kid All Opponents. Um, Ninjago vs. Monkey Kid slash Journey to the West. Where, it's a stomp, yes. Overlord destroys her. Like, thoroughly destroys her. It's planetary to go to between Galactic and Universal. So, <laughs> like, there there is a big stomp here. But, Death Battle have made stomps as both their premieres and finales be fantastic. Saitama vs. Popeye being my second favorite episode of Death Battle is arguably a stomp. Like, I'd probably give it the stomp, uh, the stomp, like, the stomp medal, like, as if, like, acknowledge that it's a stomp, because Popeye absolutely destroys him. And Death Battle have done other stomps that are amazing. For example, Kiryu vs. Dragonzord. Or uh, the Mega Man Battle Royale between Vol uh, Volnut and EXE. So, yeah. Honestly, this is cool. This is pretty cool. Overlord vs. Bone Demon. Overlord wins this, which is based, which is based as heck. I love it. And that was my dream season. That was not my dream season, sorry. That was my final uh, Lego season. That was the Lego season that I came up with a while ago. Not all of these matchups are were put in by me. Chaos vs. Fortech, Grundle vs. Vistatosaurus Rex, which was a re it was originally in Dominus, but I changed that. But I like the Grundle a lot, so... Yeah, Preston Storm versus Optimus Prime and uh and Killer Croc versus Lego Hulk and Clay vs. Laval are ones that were suggested to put in here. And I quite like that. Though others I did come up with myself, such as Goku vs. Sun Wukong, Fangar vs. Night King, and Jay vs. Mikey. There were some other matchups that I did take out. Pepperoni versus Sam Raimi Spider Man was one that I unironically like, but I didn't really want to do much with it because it just felt kind of wonky. Uh, it just didn't work for me. And Lego Peach for and Lego Stan Lee versus uh, Princess Peach. 
is also interesting, but I, but I didn't really want to try, I didn't want to do that one because I thought it might cause a bit of controversy, because, you know, Stanley was a real person, he died, and, and Peach totally wins that, which sucks, because I don't want to pull a Kool-Aid Man versus Macho Man. I'm not doing fight and track for all of these. There are my dream season ones that I am doing tracks and fights for, but all of these I do quite find interesting. But, yeah, honestly, if you have, if you have any others that you might, that you think, any other LEGO matchups that you would like to see in the future, let me know. Which one's your favorite from this ser from this list? And who do you think wins each matchup? Also, come up with track names for the ones that I don't have. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace out.